Hello, I'm Matt, welcome to Badger Workshop. This is my 10 inch Evolution sliding miter saw. I've had this saw over a year now. I got it because my friend had one. He's got a house in London, an old Victorian terrace, and we had to build a shed to go in it. There was a strange shape. So he got this saw and the stand, and I was really impressed. We spent a week outside cutting two by fours and cladding, and it worked absolutely great. And the leg kit worked really well as well. Not that I got one of those. So I got one myself and I've used it to make several shepherd's huts and it's been great. Uh, I also love the fact that it can cut metal and plastic and it's been really handy for doing that. Um, where it hasn't performed so great is when I've actually mauled it in the workshop. You don't notice the dust problem so much outside, but inside, even hooked up to quite a powerful vac, it's not great dust collection. But no miter saw I've ever had has been good at dust collection. And I think, looking at them, you've got to pay a lot more money to get one that is good. The other thing I don't like so much is how accurate it is. I spent a long time setting up the fences, getting everything parallel, getting everything square. I made a zero insert plate fret, but when you move it, it's not going to work so well because I've no longer got it bolted down so I can talk about it. As you lock it into the detents, there's still quite a bit of movement. So when I've tried to make things like picture frames where you've got to cut eight mitre joints and continually move it back and forth from 145 to the other, I've not had good results. So I'm going to look at getting a new saw. I want one with rails out the front because I've got a small workshop so it'd be more useful to have that extra space. I want one with better dust collection and I want one with more accuracy. But I'm going to have to pay three or four times the price of this saw so I probably can't blame the saw for it and I'm not going to get rid of this saw. I'm going to keep it as well because it's useful to work outside with this one as a real workhorse and uh, it's great that it can cut plastic and metal. So if you're a picture frame maker, you probably don't want this saw with this blade. And I myself have got around the problem by making a sled for the table saw, which I'll try and link the video that I did for that. But as a basic construction saw, it's a great saw. Um, I think that's all I've got to say on it really. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.